or dick. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, freaking Belsif. I've been busy as hell today. Cleaned up the leaves in the yard. I threw a garbage pail full of shit out all around the back garage area there. And now I'm just going to get a skid to finish building my leaf compost section. I need one more skid, I think, and then I'll be able to pile everything right there. Just right friggin' there. There goes my phone. Speaking of right there. Right there on the ground she goes, Captain. But I'm gonna grab myself a Tim Hortons coffee, and then we'll head that way. Holy Can anything else fucking fall? And see what we can uh, get into. I gotta fucking design something in this truck to hold everything in one place, because everything just flies all over the place and it drives me absolutely. Leave me a comment down below if you have the same freaking problem. Phones all over the place. These goddamn stupid things that we have to wear because the government wants to control everybody. I'm so over this bullshit. It's a fucking joke. I can't go over to the States to drop you guys off t-shirts because in order to get back to Canada, I have to have a test. How friggin' stupid is that? So, you know, that's the government we have here in Canada. At least the Americans can come over here and then just go home. Nope, not us. I'm in the Tim Hortons drive through and it's a friggin' beautiful day out today. Look at it. Friggin' camera's all picked over. Look at it, it's beautiful out today. Friggin' right it is. Why wouldn't it be? You tell me, inquiring minds wanna know. Captain. So anyways, normally when I cut my lawn, I drive the tractor over to the railroad tracks and I put my dead grass and stuff there. And it, you know, it's hard on fuel driving across the fairgrounds and dropping that stuff off over there. You know, it's not like I'm dumping stuff, it's it's compost. It's gonna be nice, beautiful dirt later on. So it's not like I'm littering or anything. But anyways, I wanna stop doing that because I'm using too much fuel. So I figured I'm just gonna build myself a compost section, I am. Then I'll just keep filling her up until she's full and then I'll spread the, <gasps> and I'll spread the dirt around and this, that, the other friggin' thing. I have a free donut, I'm gonna activate that song, bitch. Activate, activate my donut. Well, I'll be dipped. It's activated, cap. Hello, welcome to Morton's. Happy to be here today. Hey, can I take a... Yeah, is that everything? Sure. Why wouldn't I? Pretty fancy friggin' menu going on here at Tim Hortons. The reason why I get a cafe mocha here is because of Double Double Socks. They don't know how to make coffee here. Pretty sure I got dog shit on my feet. Just saying. Another thing I need to do while I'm in Sarnia here is get some, some baseboard molding for my skylights because they're just condensating all the shit and wrecking everything. Leave me know a comment down below if you have that same problem with skylights. Uh, why the f do I have so much gas? Leave your comments down below if you have the same problem in your house with skylights. Condensation. Sucks. So I turn a fan on and I got that thing cranked. But we got to get some trim and we got to do a little trim job. So I'm tired of fixing the drywall. I really am. It gets wet, moist, and you dry it out and then it falls apart. You fix it. Then it gets wet, moist, you dry it out, fix it, falls apart again. So I'm done with it, man. It's just the corners. So I'm just going to freaking mold that bad boy. I don't know. Why wouldn't I? So we're gonna stop there and do that and get this and the other thing too. We got a guy up here doing half the speed limit, slowing down 10 cars. I understand there's no rush, but does this guy realize that he's fucking with 10 people's schedules today? That's just, there's no consideration there at all. It's just, look at me, it's only me. I'm the one. He's got a green light and he's slowing down for a green light. Don't know how to drive at all. Not even a little bit dicked right over. Yeah. Friggin' right here. Looks like all the boats are getting stacked up over there. All done for the winter. Sometimes there's skids up here. I don't know if there's any right now, but we're gonna have a look here and see if there's any skid marks. We need a pretty decent skid. It can't just be any old skid. It's gotta be a skid. It's got, you know, a pretty good wall to it. Eh? It can't have like big gaps. So we gotta look for something that's what they say almost the perfect skid. Oh, I'm thinking, holy, look at all the garbage over there. What's really going on? Hopefully you got it. Hopefully I got an image for you. Like I was saying, there's got to be a perfect skid. You can't have, like, cocked over skids. Holy bubbles. Come pick your curts up, for freak's sake. They're free, too. Free curts are in the ditch. Wants to come get them, cap them. Anybody need a welding cart? There you go. They're not at the store anymore, they're free game. That's what I say. So I was thinking about selling the golf cart to buy the new Maverick 3. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you think that's a smart move or a stupid move. 
I guess, you know, the Maverick Air 2S does do a pretty good job. I don't think I really need to spend $3,600 on another drone. How are you doing? That just sounds horrible. I'm not into those bikes at all. They just don't sound right. Uh, uh, oh, but he's talking to himself. Oh, Walmart is friggin' packed. Just cocking people over trying to get in the door. I hope Home Depot ain't like this. This will suck if it is. Man, oh man, I tell you, there's a lot of friggin' people out today, and there's a lot of friggin' birds over there, Captain. I'll be dipped. Should I go to Lowe's or Home Depot? Leave a comment down below. Which one would you go to? Oh, nobody's waiting for the old lady. Hurry up and get on that cart and get it across the road there, why wouldn't you? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I think I'm gonna go to Home Depot. I'm a Home Depot kind of guy. Some people are Lowe's type of guy. I'm a Home Depot type of guy. It's just the way she goes, Captain. It's just the way she goes. <gasps> oh, dick. I like going over here. I like parking out front, I do. There we go, Jim. Well, I scored myself up a value pack. I wanted to get plastic, you know, the PVC kind of trim molding. So, you know, the, it wouldn't soak water up, but not for 20 bucks a piece. Not happening. So we went with a value pack. I get like 10 pieces for 38 bucks, Captain. So I'll just paint the shit out of them before I put them up with some trim clad. Hey, eh? we'll, we'll get them really watertight. We will. So that's going to be a project coming up for you here in the video. So hopefully you want to watch that kind of stuff. Leave a comment down below if you do. But what did I come to Surrey for? Oh yeah, a skid. And I ended up getting some wood. Figure that one out. You gotta do what you gotta do, you do. Hopefully it's wide enough. It's gonna be my, my next concern. Got my skids, found some good ones. Can't wait to show you once I get home. I just took a quick swing, there's a ship coming, so I'm gonna take a quick drone video of a ship. If you wanna see that, get over there to Lake Freighters and boats and check that out. Home, got the trim, see? That's pretty good, there's 10 pieces for 38 bucks. You can't really go wrong there. And then I'll just cut them to size and then we'll paint them with some Friggin' trim clad black if I have any. Maybe put a little bit of sealer on them so they're waterproof and Bob's your uncle. But I did get my skids, like I said, and they're not too bad looking, eh? Well, that one there is, I don't know why I grabbed it. I think I grabbed, oh, got the silicone too and some nails for that trim. Put that over here somewhere. So we'll bring this stuff in the backyard. I've got my compost section done. I wasn't recording the whole friggin' time. What a rookie mistake. Just cocked myself. Check out the new Life with Bilsa's compost station. Oh, dick. Hey, all right, boys. Hey, should hold all the leaves in there. This is a wasted area back here, as you see. I'm gonna bring some wood up front for the winter, but other than that, that's where I'll put all the leaves. I'll get some chunks and pieces of wood to block this off. There's the old uh, pool heater piping. Put her to work. But we'll block that off and that way, like that, see? Okay? Over there. Block it off all the way around. Just keep putting stuff in there and we'll have nice dirt like this. Because this was all compost at one point. And if I dig under there, she's pure dirt. This is just a mess. Look at this. What happened? If anybody wants tires near my area, come get them free. They are not too bad. 245.70. R17s. So there you go. Off a of Chevy Silverado. If you want them rims and tires, come get them before it's too late. Didn't have to trim that branch after all because once the slide shut, she's pretty high out of the way. Might still get up there and trim it though. Leave your comments down below if you think I should. That's where that went. I've been looking for this thing for like three months, Jim. God darn it. Gotta get some of this wood. We gotta move her up front. Should have a bonfire and burn that. That guy's still there. Why did he never come get him? He wanted me to deliver him. Sorry about that. No. If you want something for free from me, you gotta come get it. That's the way I look at things. But I'm glad I found that, because that was really stressing me out. I was like, where the hell did that go? There it is. Right where someone put it. Let's just put it on the glass table. That's what I would do. But we gotta move this out of here, and then I'll start stacking all my wood along here for the winter. We gotta get that done. That may be a tomorrow's job because it is dinner time. It's been pretty go, go, go all day long around here. But hey, that's the way we do things. We go, go, go all day sometimes we do. So like I said, we'll move this tomorrow and we'll stack all the wood up here. And then we'll have lots of wood, won't we, Em? Hey, we'll have lots of wood for the winter. Friggin' right we will. I like working out in this weather a lot better than the hot heat, that's for sure. There's nothing in there, dingle balls. Careful. You know, there's probably cushions in here. There sure is. A, I've never ever used. Oh, dang. Get that thing. 
There we go. So we'll clean that up tomorrow, maybe with a power washer, and then we'll stack all my wood there for the winter. That's what I'm thinking. Leave a comment down below if you think that's a good idea. I hate this patio because of these steps. Door garage steps. What happened? Why wouldn't you put a wood deck here, but then I guess you have stairs coming up to the deck, wouldn't you? Yeah, there's no way around it. This shouldn't even have a door here, I guess. Should have been on the other side or at the back. What were you thinking when you put this addition on? Let me know in the comments below. You cocked her over, Jim. Figure out right, you did. That's what I did today. Whole bunch of this, not that, the other thing. Hopefully you did too. Listen, we'll get this project going. Leave me in the comments below if you want to see this project because we need to do something about that. That's just dicked. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like me, not doing anything I ain't doing. Love you all. And until the next one, make sure you subscribe. And you know what to do for now.